Internet Wagwan. Elden Ring is out. I've been playing it on Linux for a while. I've been playing entirely offline because Easy Andy Cheat wouldn't let me get online. I found out today though that multiplayer is working for some folks on Linux, provided that you are on the experimental branch of Proton in Steam. Only problem though, the gamepad that I'm currently using, which is a DualSense or the PlayStation 5 gamepad, is not detected. Here's a workaround for that particular problem. Before you do anything, open Steam, find Elden Ring, right click on it, head over to the properties, and right here where you see general, you're gonna switch it over to compatibility on the left side. You want to check force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and then change the drop down option from whatever it is to Proton Experimental. After that, close the box and then Elden Ring is probably going to update itself once you hit play. You don't have to press play right now, you can go and configure controller settings or you could press play right now and get it started and close the game and proceed. Either way, you should be good to go. But the very first thing and most important thing, make sure that you have Elden Ring set to use Proton Experimental. That is what this guide is for. Now, thanks to a user named Anuraj on the ProtonDB website, they've laid out some instructions to get your DualSense working or a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Basically, if you're not using an Xbox controller, you're probably going to run into this issue if you're on Proton Experimental or the latest version of Glorious Egg Rolls Proton GE. So what you want to do is actually set your controller desktop configuration settings to gamepad and set your particular controller settings for Elden Ring to detect a generic gamepad. So we're gonna do that real quick. Now again, you only need to do this if you are trying to play multiplayer online using Proton Experimental and your gamepad's not working and you have something that isn't an Xbox controller. So the first thing you wanna do, head over to Steam, go into Steam and then settings. In settings, you want to head over to controller. And then from here, first, we're gonna go into our general controller settings. Now for me, I have PlayStation configuration support and generic gamepad configuration support already checked. Um, and that's because I'm using a DualSense controller. Now, we're to back out of here. The next thing you wanna do is, as Anuraj has said in their post, is go to desktop configuration. And in desktop configurations, make this full screen. What you actually want to do is change the config. So if you don't have gamepad set, yours might actually say disabled up here. And that's the configuration that you're currently using. You want to go to browse configs. And I believe it's either templates or community. It's under templates. So on the left side here, select templates. And then in templates, you want to select gamepad, which is down here. So select that, hit apply configuration, and you should be good to go. Once, you're, once you've applied it, then you just hit done. That's done. And then you just hit okay. Now, from here, you could restart Steam. Um, I don't think I had to do that, but it might be a good idea. Everybody's system is a little bit different. In addition to that, I also hopped into Elden Ring's properties as well to make some changes here. So I went into controller for the game specifically, and I set the override for Elden Ring to use the default settings that I have set and the settings that are set by the developer. So change this to default. I believe that Steam input is not working right now on Elden Ring because Steam overlay isn't working. It might vary depending on what um, distro you're using and if you're on the, the beta version of Steam or the stable version of Steam, I'm not quite sure. But for me, there is no Steam overlay in Elden Ring. So setting it to, oh, so because of that, you can't use Steam input. Um, but I've been using the default settings with no problem. So leave that set as default. And another thing you can do is actually set some launch options. This is just a nice to have thing. This should help with the a little bit with the stuttering in the game. It's not perfect because remember the stuttering that's going on, it's affecting Windows users as well. I'm sure that an update, some patch that From Software puts out will remedy that. But this has enabled me to get a little bit better performance just in a general sense while I'm playing. Like maintaining 60 frames more often than when I didn't have these set. 
Um, so you might want to install game mode run from Feral Interactive if you don't have it already. And then this uh, F-Sync option here as well. That Both of these should help out. So, But those are nice to have. They're not required for these purposes of getting your controller working and playing, on, playing multiplayer. So that's done. Now let's jump into multiplayer. Now that white screen you saw, if that remains on the screen for a long time, the game probably crashed. You might want to close it out and stop it via Steam and then try again. That happened to me a few times. It hasn't happened since, um, but your mileage may vary. Launched. Go to login. Yep, and we're able to log into the game. So you should be good to go now, and I'm using the gamepad. I'm using my dual sense to do all this. Should be good to go now. And that's it. So if you are having trouble with Elden Ring and you are unable to log in, you get hit with the inappropriate, what is it, inappropriate settings or inappropriate configuration i don't know what easy anti cheat spits at you when you're trying to do it in a game um i got that a few times before switching over to proton experimental but if you're getting that message switch to proton experimental you should be able to get on multiplayer and if your controller is not working when you're using proton experimental follow the steps in the instructions here or check the link in the description to see anaraj's post which is probably quicker than this video to tell you what you need to do you should be good to go all right uh, with all that being said, this has been Kai, and no matter what destroyer you use, out of many, one Linux give thanks. Peace.